In this video, I'm going to show you the best two-play combo on defense. It's not the Mike Blitz 3. It's one play that can become a pressure, and it can also be a coverage defense that is absolutely insane with very minimal adjustments. And I think you're going to absolutely love this defense because not only is it a really good pressure, but it's got the best passive pressure in Madden 22. What's good, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. That way you don't ever miss one of these important videos. Today we're talking about the Sam Mike 3 press out of the nickel 245 odd. I think that the nickel 245 odd is the best defense in the game. And if you want to get my complete nickel 245 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can get the entire defense broken down for just $15. And it's a one-time purchase. And that guide is going to continue to update over the course of the Madden 22 season. Whether there's a new patch that comes out that changes how this works. If there's a update that changes the way some of the coverage work or some of the pressures or if we just find something new we're going to update you guys and keep you most up to date with the defensive scheme so if you want to get it there's a link in the description let's jump into the video sam mike 3 press i'm super super jacked up to explain this to you this is a really really fun defense it's honestly becoming my base defense for a lot of different reasons it sends the best pressure in the game by far um and we've got an incredible incredibly good passive pressure we're going to show you in just a second so here's how the defense works Similar to Mike Blitz 3, you only have to make, like, I'm not even kidding you, you only have to make, like, one or two adjustments. So, what I like to do with this is I personally like to go ahead and pinch my linebackers, crash my line down. That's it. The blitz is set up. I'm going to stand right here. What you should see is you're going to get this nice edge heat. As you can see right there, we get double edge heat at the quarterback. What makes this good is I want to show you something else that you can do with this. So the next, so again, super simple setup. You can contain if you want. Now I want to show you what happens when they block a running back. When they block a running back on this one, typically, and we didn't get it right there, and I think it's because we contained, but typically what happens against a blocked running back within this defense is you are going to still get 100% clean pressure. So let me show you again. We'll, let's, it might have been a little bit of a fluke, but again, we'll just... Just pinch our linebackers, and then again, make sure that you're crashing your line down. You might need to do it once or twice, but what you'll see here, running back blocking, and as you see, that's exactly what we normally get. That edge rusher is coming completely clean at the quarterback. Now, where this is going to get really, really high level, in my opinion, is right now. So we're going to show you something else that you can do with this that makes this absolutely insane. So all we're going to do is we're crashing our line down. We're going to pinch our linebackers. Then we're going to take this backside guy, Devin White. And I actually like, remember, Devin White, right? It's a middle linebacker. So you can put a middle linebacker in there if you're playing ultimate team. Anyway, man him up on Gronkowski. Just man him up on Gronkowski. That's all we're going to ask you to do. And then, again, blocked running back. You see the pressure is still going to come, for the most part, pretty much completely clean. He got picked up right at the end of the blitz, but you saw that the pressure concept was certainly very effective. Now, the one thing that I will also uh, point out is if you show blitz out of this, sometimes I like to do this look, this blitz will still work. Um, you'll see here the blitz still works completely clean. Now, where I've noticed a little bit of issue with that alignment, okay, where I've noticed a little bit of issue with that alignment is when they block a running back. So let me show you here. I'm going to block my running back, snap the ball, and what you're going to see, honestly, for the most part, it came in. For the most part, it came in, okay? So you can just simply baseline show blitz, crash your line down, and it'll come in. Um, the other one is to crash your line to the right. That's another way that you could do this, um, and as you see... We're coming completely, uh, completely clean. You just need to either crash them down or crash them to the to the opposite side, to the tight end side. Now, where this is going to get really good is how do most people pick up the nickel three through five wide meta? Well, let me show you really quickly because I can audible to nickel three through five wide out of the Chicago playbook. So I'm going to set up the Mike Blitz zero, and here is what people are going to do. I'm going to send the five man pressure, and I'm going to delay fade my tight end. What you're going to see is the blitz is going to get completely picked up, and then now the opponent has an opportunity to be able to throw the pass, you know, throw a ball, you know, post route, cross, or whatever it might be. With this defense, this is why I like this defense so much better. When I do this look right here, when I uh, do the pinch look, and I'm going to crash my line down. That's all I'm doing. Now watch. I'm going to delay fade the tight end, and you should still get this pr uh, pressure completely clean. That time we got picked up, let me show it to you again. I might have not been able to. I might have. Uh, my, my line crash might not have registered, so let me show you that again. Well, again. 
And there you see, that's the consistency that I'm talking about. So that's what normally happens, where you get that edge rusher coming completely clean at the quarterback, and you, you're only sitting five, right? And they're blocking their tight end now, which against three, three, five wide, it works. But as you see, two for two doesn't really work right there. Okay, so as long as you get your crash in, it's super simple too. That's the crazy part. Literally, we're just pinching our linebackers. We're crashing our line to the right. We're done. We're done. We're into, we're into coverage adjustments at this point. And as you see, the pressure is coming completely clean every time. So they can't block their running back, and they can't block their tight end to make this go away. So what can they do? Well, what they can do, and this is where we're going to lead them, is to max protect. So when they max protect, what you'll see is this still comes completely free. The pressure's coming in, period. The pressure is coming in, period. And that is why I really love this defense. It gives you such good pressure. And you, you jump one route. Out, it's over like ggs in the chat you get a turnover you make one user play and it's ggs that's how good this blitz is i promise you and then what's even better about it is what i like to do off of this is i like to take my curl flats and i'll put my curl flats on 30 and i'll put my uh, and then i'll i actually leave my cloud flats on default so i literally put my curl flats on 25 or 30 my hook curls are going to be on default for zone drops and then my, my flats are going to be on default, right? So you know, you're coaching adjustments. You're going to put your curl flats on 30. So now watch. This is where this is going to get insane. All we're going to do is same exact look. And we're just going to put the def both outside linebackers on the hard flats, just like the 3-3-5 three, three, wide. The only thing different, though, we're going to send three. But the only thing that we're going to do differently is we're going to QB contain. And now look at the blitz angle from the middle linebacker. You see that he's on this wonky looping contain angle, and this angle is insane. Watch what's going to happen. Three-man pressure, as you see, completely clean at the quarterback. That is the best defense in the game. It is insane how effective this is. And when you use this in combination with the rest of the tools that we give you in the 2 4 5 odd defense, you are actually going to give yourself a decent chance at actually being able to stop somebody this year. So I'm so glad that I, I put the lab work in and I've worked my butt off learning this defense. I've been labbing this defense for literally the better part of a month and a half and you're seeing the payoff as you can see here look at how good that pressure is that's passive pressure guys that's passive pressure and let's take it just one step further because in the mike blitz three what you can do is you when you when you do your mabel coverage and i'll show you when i go to mike blitz three look at this i can do this i can drop both of these guys in zones and i'm only going to blitz two we can do the exact same thing out of the original play sam mike three press let me show you how so what we're going to do, and I might, I'm going to go ahead and just throw the ball away because I think I messed up my stuff. So I'm just going to throw the ball away and we'll reset it. So here's your setup. You're going to pinch your linebackers, okay? You're going to QB, uh, or you're going to drop both outside linebackers in hard flats, QB contain, and then drop your nose tackle into, yes, you guessed it, the bluff blitz or the QB spy. You're only sending two people and watch that looper come and you get B gap and edge pressure. That's insane, guys. That's insane. You're sitting two people and you're getting two people coming completely free. And what's even crazier about this is let's say they block a running back. Let's say they block a running back, okay? If they block a running back, it's not 100% that he picks it up. He does sometimes pick this up. Like right there, he doesn't pick it up, as you can see. So you're sending two people and you're getting edge heat against a blocked running back doing nothing else you're not you're not manning anybody up you're not doing anything this is insanely effective and it's from the exact same look and it literally costs you maybe maybe two to three adjustments at the most and you're gonna have i'm telling you an insanely good uh bunch defense so please try this out if you've not at least try this video out and then if you really like what you get out of that i'm guaranteeing you you will love the defensive ebook because we literally go through 20 or to 25 different setups for pressures and we actually walk through specifics on how you can actually stop bunch or stop bunch tight end or stop trips tight end we actually break down how you can apply this concept to the flesh of actually defending the best offenses in the game so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it this was a really fun video i'm really excited about this defense and if you've not gotten the defensive guide yet i would really encourage you to do that all you got to do is go down click that link that i put in the description for you it will take you right over to the website and you can get the guide for just 15 bucks